Hey everyone, welcome back to the story time family. Did you have a good day at school today? More importantly, did you wake up in time? Did you have a good breakfast? Did you have fun with your friends? Did you get to play outside? Get some sunshine? That sounds awesome. Now, are you ready to sit down and read Spork with us? Well, Spork is. Can you guess what it is? Well, Spork is a fork and a spoon. Have you ever seen one? Maybe you have, cause when you go camping. Lots of people use sporks, but being a sport also means that sport is different. He doesn't fit in in either section in the cutlery drawer. Well, you know what? Sometimes we don't always have to fit in because we're all special, and being special is the most awesome thing ever. Trust me, you don't want to be ordinary. Well, well, let's find out what sport is all about. Sport is by Kiyo McClear and illustrated by Isabel Arsenal. Sport. Spork was neither a spoon nor a fork. Spork, but a bit of both. I imagine it to be quite useful, really. He had a mom and a dad, who both thought he was perfect just the way he was. Like you, you're perfect. But Spork stuck out. We all want to stick out. Sticking out is good. Being different is good. Being average is ordinary. In his kitchen, forks were forks and spoons were spoons. Cutlery customs were followed closely. Mixing was uncommon. Naturally, there were rule breakers: knives who loved chopsticks, tongs who married forks. But such families. Were unusual. Well, unusual things make life interesting. One day, after the billionth time, he was asked, "What are you anyway?" And the zillionth time, he was passed over when the table was being set. Spork sighed and thought, "It must be easier to be a single thing." And he decided he'll try to pick just one thing to be. Who wants to be just one thing when you can be many things, right? He thought he should start by fixing his head. He put on a bowler hat to look more spoonish, but the forks thought he was too round. Then he made paper crown to look more forkish, but the spoons thought he was too pointy. Spork wondered if there were other lonely creatures out there with no matching kind, who never got chosen to be at the table. Oh, there's lots. At dinner time, he watched from the drawer. While the spoons played pee hockey and skillfully balanced boiled eggs, he sat off to the side while the forks raked fancy patterns in the mashed potatoes and twirled noodles around in complicated circles like rhythmic gymnasts. At the end of this and every other meal, Spork looked on while the others enjoyed a super bubbly bath in the sink. Oh, poor thing! He never gets used. 
Until one morning, a messy thing arrived. This messy thing had obviously never heard of cutlery customs or table manners. No, this messy thing smeared and spilled and flunk and clump and dripped without a care. Does that sound like you? My kids used to do that. Wait, said the forks, but the messy thing did not wait. Careful, said the spoons, but the messy thing was not careful. Help, said the forks, while the messy thing continued to slop and splatter. Quick, said the spoons. Now a fork may be good for poking and picking. And the spoon may be fine for scooping and stirring, but this messy thing, with its slurpy and clumpy half-finished food bits, needed something else—something that could do all sorts of things at once, something flexible and easy to hold, something that was neither spoon nor fork, but a bit of both. Aha!、Uh -huh. This is it. This is Spork's moment. That's when Spork landed. The messy thing saw Spork and immediately stopped and gurgled. It grabbed Spork and held him motionless in its fist. It tapped him once and let out a cheerful shriek. It wagged Spork excitedly up and down. And that's how Spork finally and happily found his way to the table. Just a bit round, just a bit pointy, just right, like you. So you see, you might think you stick out, but you know what? It's the sticking out that makes you special. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you love Spork, and remember that you are always special. Give us a like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us about what makes you special. Come back and see us again. See you soon.